Hello and welcome to World War II and more. Today we're going to be talking about chaplains in the United States Army during the Second World War. During World War II, chaplains provided moral and spiritual support as well as guidance. Chaplains were in charge of providing such support to soldiers from all religions and personal backgrounds. The history of chaplains serving in the United States military dates back to 1775, when Congress authorized the creation of the U.S. Army Chaplains Corps. This allowed one chaplain to be assigned to each regiment of the Army. It remained that way until 1918, when the first U.S. Military Chaplain School was held. This school was located in Suffolk, Virginia. This school was created to teach already ordained ministers from all religions on how to manage and encourage soldiers of the Allied forces. During the First World War, 2,364 chaplains served in the United States Chaplain Corps. Of this 2,364, 23 were killed in combat, 11 of which were either killed in action or died from wounds received in combat. The remaining 12 died from disease or accident. Another 27 chaplains were wounded during combat. After the end of the First World War, the chaplain school became rather inactive. Though the school never officially shut down, the number of chaplains joining the military drastically decreased. Before the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, the United States military only had around 242 chaplains actively serving. However, after the attack, thousands of men rushed to enlist in the military. Among these men were chaplains. In fact, between the years 1941 and 1945, more than 8,000 chaplains and ministers would attend the U.S. Army Chaplain School. With the increase of total soldiers joining the military, it proved difficult to provide chaplains from the wide ranges of religions. Of the total 8,896 chaplains, a large amount were Catholic, Baptist, and Methodists. Among the other religions with fewer chaplains were Jewish, Episcopal, Lutheran, and Presbyterian, and so on. During World War II in the United States military, chaplains were assigned to not only different units and divisions, but chaplains were also assigned to hospitals, troop ships, grave registration units, and anywhere else you would find soldiers. In fact, a large amount of chaplains earned parachute jump wings, and some even jumped with airborne troops on D-Day, such as Catholic priest Father Francis Sampson, also known as Parachute Padre. Father Francis served with the 501st Parachute Regiment and was one of the 15,000 men to jump behind enemy lines on June 6, 1944. Father Francis was also captured on D-Day while tending to wounded soldiers. In fact, he was almost executed until a Catholic German officer ordered the men not to shoot the priest, but rather to let him go. This is just one of the many stories showing the bravery and strength of priests during World War II. Chaplains were issued multiple items in order to hold services in the field, such as the large chaplain's chest which could carry all of the necessary items a chaplain would need, such as music books, bibles, flags, candles, crosses, rosaries, and any other necessary item. Chaplains in the military worked extremely long and hard hours. There was one priest for every 1,250 personnel. So not only did chaplains have to provide services for thousands of servicemen, but they also oftentimes worked as medics and helped aid the wounded. Of the over 8,000 chaplains, 24 were killed in action, 66 wounded in action, and 8 were captured and then released. Many chaplains also received medals for their services. The following medals were all awarded to chaplains. 4 Distinguished Service Crosses, 6 Legions of Merit, 48 Silver Stars, 133 Bronze Stars, and 54 Purple Hearts. Priests and chaplains have served in every major conflict that the United States military has been involved in. And, through every war, new stories of bravery and the determination of soldiers have emerged. As we look back, we oftentimes forget men like priests who play such a large role in military history. During World War II, chaplains of the United States Chaplain Corps were rarely given weapons, and yet they walked into battle ready to give their lives while spreading the words of their religion. 
This was something that was thought highly of by the soldiers, how men, such as chaplains, served their nation, not by killing, but through religion, especially during the Second World War. During the 1940s, religion was a very important part of many men's lives, so to have a chaplain near them during a time such as war was extremely important and a great morale booster. Many soldiers found comfort while talking to chaplains. They were always there, and they would always listen and talk to you like a friend. This is the reason I decided to dedicate this video to all military chaplains, past and present. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to check us out on Instagram, link in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions, be sure to make a comment. Again, thanks for watching, and remember to always love history.